Fun fact, did you know the GPS in your phone was born out of Cold War panic, atomic clocks, and a whole lot of scientific genius? Back in 1957, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik, the world's first satellite. American scientists noticed something interesting. By tracking tiny changes in Sputnik's radio signal, they could calculate its position. And what sparked the wild idea, if we can track them, could we use satellites to track us? Fast forward to 1960s when the US military built the first satellite navigation system called Transit. It worked, but barely. You had to wait for the satellite to pass directly overhead and wait. the accuracy wasn't that great. Then came a breakthrough. Physicists Roger Easton, Ivan Getting, and Bradford Parkinson pushed for a system using precise atomic clocks in orbit. Without atomic clocks, GPS would drift by seven miles every single day. I know, wild, right? By 1978, the first true GPS satellite, Navstar, was launched. Your device listens to multiple satellites, measures how long their signals take to reach you, and calculates your exact position. Boom, instant navigation. But here's the twist. GPS wasn't fully open to the public until the year 2000. Before that, civilian signals were scrambled, so only the military got perfect accuracy. Because once again, everything's about the military. When that restriction was lifted, accuracy jumped from about 100 meters to under 20. Your car's navigation today? Thank President Clinton for flipping that switch. And now GPS guides ships, airplanes, your Uber driver, farmers, emergency response vehicles, and even your dog's tracking collar. It's everywhere. So the next time your GPS says, recalculating, remember, your phone is talking to 31 satellites orbiting 12,000 miles above the Earth, all thanks to the space race started by the Soviet Union and a few brilliant engineers who had a couple of crazy ideas. This has been a fun fact with Josh. Thanks for watching.